Though King Charles' cancer diagnosis came as a shock, many believe the monarchy will still be able to run smoothly when he takes a step back from his role to focus on his health thanks to son Prince William. In fact, hours after the news broke, GB News reporter Cameron Walker shared, Prince William, I'm told, is possibly going to be taking on some of King Charles' duties or representing the king of behalf of him, but certainly not all. The king is still expected to have his weekly audience with the prime minister, but on doctor's advice, it's advised that they should not meet in person, the journalist continued. Other arrangements, it's understood, will be arranged and similar with Privy Council meetings, the king is still expected to attend Privy Council meetings. He's also expected to work through those famous red boxes, his constitutional duties, signing government papers, reading cabinet minutes, added Walker. Walker offered more insight into the dynamic of the royal family when it comes to work engagements. It's also understood that councillors of state will not be required, so councillors of state are members of the royal family over the age of 21, in direct line of succession, who can deputise on behalf of the king, if the king is too ill to carry out his constitutional duties, he said. I'm told that is not necessary at this stage, which suggests to me that the king is optimistic about his treatment. As OK reported, Buckingham Palace announced the dad of two's diagnosis on Monday, February 5th. During the king's recent hospital procedure for benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concern was noted. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer, the statement read. His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. Throughout this period, His Majesty will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork as usual. The King is grateful to his medical team for their swift intervention, which was made possible thanks to his recent hospital procedure, the statement continued. He remains wholly positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. His Majesty has chosen to share his diagnosis to prevent speculation and in the hope it may assist public understanding for all those around the world who are affected by cancer. An insider claims Charles spoke privately to William and his other son, Prince Harry, about his diagnosis before Buckingham Palace made the announcement. GB News reported on William taking over some of his dad's jobs.